Hey there, Mission Control. Well, we're continuing uh, trying to get our projects done today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, what we're going to try to do now is I actually am going to use this tool, which looks extremely dangerous and somewhat deadly. If you did that, but that's not what it's for. Uh, we're going to use this tool and actually get down here and we're going to remove some of these tiles on the floor. Uh, I've never used this tool, uh, so we're going to figure that out. We're going to lift this section up right here. We're going to put a pond pump down there. We're going to connect an automation unit over here. And we're also going to uh, run water and power to the pump and, and back up from the pump. Sorry, water from the pump, power to the pump. Get the water up in here, bring it up through the floor, and then uh, have it ready uh, to go to all the trees uh, through here. So uh, see if we can't figure out how to use it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, but I broke it. Turn it out. Now we're going to try to lift it here. And we've all been wondering what is it going to look like underneath of here? Aw. Uh. Moldy or not? That is the big question. And the answer appears to be no. There's some moisture under there, but not a lot. I got my power run underneath uh, underneath the floor here and I got the floor propped up obviously. And the reason for that is I got to get the uh, water line underneath the floor. Now underneath of the actual flooring is uh, plastic and gravel. So I'm going to cut the plastic and then dig out a little trench uh, for the black plastic or for the pipe to sit in. That way the floor doesn't pinch uh, the water line. So I'm going to get started on that. That freezing blade isn't going to be worth a darn. You want to sit back, sir? Oh, that's fine. I have you. Next, I'm going to drill a hole where I want the hose to come up through. That was easy. Now that I have that hole put in, I'm going to pull the hose under, through, underneath. Looks like it's settling down there nicely, so I'm gonna connect up the pump and run a test. Okay. 
Aquaponics water to the trees. All right, so that's step one. Next, we're gonna install the automation unit. Again, this is one that I'm repurposing from last year. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna take power for the pump, plug it in here. Arduino, Wi-Fi, server control. We can establish um, how long these things should run. Ooh, good thing I didn't set before. <clears throat> We're also gonna be putting uh, a water sensor or moisture sensor uh, into the system. So yeah, oh man, I almost totally messed that one up. So, how do you just run it the same? Okay, and this plugs into the side here. And this is going to run up here. Clean that all up, and then it sets right down in there. So now I got to get power kept to uh, run over from here to here. So I'm gonna go kill power. All right, I just got it all hooked up and the power is on. So now we need to reprogram the Arduino so it knows that it's in the right place. All right, so if this one works correctly, then and we'll start getting sensor reading for the first time. I put the uh, uh, water percentage sensor, <laughs> the wetness of, man, I've lost all my vocabulary, man, I'm really tired. Uh, put the water sensor down about two inches down into the dirt. That's what the, uh, the folks that sent us the plants say, that's where you want to measure uh, your, your wetness at uh, before you start watering again. So we got that down two inches down into the dirt. Uh, we got it all connected up here, so it should, it should work. I tested all this up at the house uh, with my test system up there and everything worked out okay. So if I did this right, we should see this thing turn on. Right now it's uh, compiling and uh, yeah, just gotta wait. It's uploading. 31% complete, 62% complete, 93% complete, 100. Okay, we got our first red value, 104. So it reads uh, analog in, which is 808, and I had a previous linear algorithm in there to convert that. So we're posting for the first time to the server. It didn't work. Something appears to be wrong with my nerve webs. But this thing's working correctly, so that's good. I'm really excited to have gotten uh, so much done today. It was two videos for you guys, but it's taken me all day to get this uh, get this far. So we got the sensors, or I'm sorry, the um, the microgreen watering systems, the automation for that installed. That means that on lanes two and three, we actually have backup pumps. Uh, 
that are also primary pumps for the microgreen watering. And that might be uh, how I start doing things that are gonna go up high. Uh, we have, have refactored some of this here so you can see it's a lot higher than what it was and uh, might need some bigger pumps to get up that high. We'll see though, that, that might be later this year or maybe even next year, so not, not a big rush. Standing in front of, this is the apple tree. Now this is a self-pollinating uh, garden delicious apple tree and uh, it could potentially fruit this year is what I'm hoping for. That's what they said it would do, but uh, we'll see. And it already has sprouts coming out on it. Uh, really, really cool seeing that happen. The peach tree is getting its uh, uh, buds on it. The almond tree is getting buds on it. The grapefruit tree is just doing really awesome and the clementine is also doing great. So we're gonna get this uh, watering system put in here and bring in some aquaponic water and really give these things a boost. Uh, so really excited about that. Now I think that's about it for tonight. I'm gonna tidy things up here, close it all up. For some reason my internet stopped working so I can't access the server. The server may have uh, shut down or someone may have turned the power off inadvertently up at the house there. So I'm gonna go check that out, figure out what's going on and then should be good to go. I still gotta get some uh, extra plumbing parts here uh, to run the water to each of the pots. But uh, all in all, I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out. So just a little bit more to go and we'll be uh, fully automated. That's cool. So thanks for following along. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian.